Hello everybody, this is Sarah with Habitat Housewares. I am live today um, doing it a little bit different. We already made our food, but I want to talk about this machine here. So I've got some food and some soup in here to serve up and so we can look at it. And then we're going to talk about everything that this can do because it is, as you can see, a pretty large machine. Um, turn it to the side, you can get a good idea of how big it is. Um, this is kind of known on the market as a food processor that can do everything else. Um, so I'll, I'll just kind of jump into it and talk about it. We have made um, a soup in it today. It just got, I went over to the market and I got some summer vegetables and um, we added in some bacon. And so let's see, we, we, all we did in here was we had um, bacon, cauliflower, uh, zucchini, carrots, um, oh, I cannot remember, a leek and an onion, um, some water, some salt, pepper, some oregano, and um, some garlic powder. And it's, it's really awesome. I just put a blade in the bottom of this container here, threw all of the ingredients on top. I pulsed it a few times because there is the ultra blade down inside of here. Um, pulsed it a few times and then we started it. It cooked for 45 minutes and we wanted it to be in somewhat of a chunky form as it's um, got the bacon and everything in there. I didn't really want it to be uh, too thin. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out our blade here real quick. And so this is definitely a very green soup. We use a lot of greens to make it, but the consistency of it, let's see if I can get it for you. Perfectly chunky. I'm wondering if I can get a shot in my thing here without spilling it all over myself. So there we, and you can choose to make it, um, you know, more pureed than this, less pureed than this. We just chose to make it a, a medium kind of chunkiness to it. It's almost like a split pea soup consistency right now. Um, okay. Now I want to talk about the other things that this machine can do. It has 12 different speeds on it. So if you are, you know, making a smoothie or a soup, or a sauce and you need to blend it really fine there is the 12 different settings and speeds it's got 1400 watts and 15,000 rpm um, you can adjust the temperatures in 10 degree increments anywhere between 90 degrees and 270 degrees uh, and I'm about to tell you all of the things that you could do with this one machine so as you see we we made the soup um, we also it didn't just cook the soup but also um, blended the ingredients together. This machine can weigh your food, it can cook your food, it can chop your food, it emulsifies, you can whip, you can mix, you can steam, you can blend, you can grate, and you can knead. That was 10 different things that you can do with this one machine. Um, and for example, get some more things out here. The attachments that it comes with are the Ultra, Bra Ultra Blade knife, which is what I use today. Uh, the, that accessory, it's perfectly suited for cutting and mixing a wide variety of ingredients. You can mix um, soups or fruit purees. You can chop your vegetables, herbs, meat, or fish. The shape and the particular edges of the Ultra Blade knife ensure that you can chop effectively, evenly, quickly, or mix smaller or larger ingredients. Um, Okay, the whisk. <clears throat> the whisk attachment is versatile. It can beat your eggs and whip a cream, but you can also use it to emulsify mayonnaise and sauces. The result is a loose and airy cooking, which can be pretty hard if you're doing it by hand and you're me. <laughs> um, because of the special design, the air is easily incorporated into the whipped mixture while beating, which allows you to achieve the maximum volume and solid consistency. By using the whisk attachment during the cooking process, recipes such as hollandaise, custards, or any other delicate recipe will come out beautifully. And that's the other thing too. The blade that I put in here, we chopped a few, you know, we, we pulsed it a few times at the beginning and then it cooked and it stayed in here the whole time that it cooked. So at the very, very end, it 
it emulsified it. It did the pureeing and it got it to the consistency that we wanted it to. So it's it's a one pot does all. It's amazing. Um, there is the mixer. The By using the mixer attachment, even the finest ingredients can be whipped in any dish and be carefully stirred. It fits perfectly with the shape of the bowl and allows the ingredients to be stirred or mixed without mashing the ingredients, burning them, or having them stick to the bowl. Apart from preparing main dishes, it's also extremely well suited for stirring desserts or ensuring that butter or chocolate melts evenly. Two more accessories on there. So it comes with the five accessories. The kneading and the crushing blade. Uh, that blade can be used not only for kneading tough dough like bread or leaven dough, uh, you can use it to stir soft dough, like dough for pound cake, pancakes, or waffles, but you can also use it for crushing nuts or ice. So that's, if I love crushed ice, so that's kind of a cool feature for me. Um, it's unique shape and the jagged edge means that hard food can be cut smoothly. And your perfect, your, per, your bread, pastries, and cakes, even sorbets or crushed ice will come out perfectly. And then there's a steam basket. So the steam basket helps you create the healthier dishes. The basket is used directly in the bowl of the prep -a cook for vegetables, fish, meat, and even different desserts can be cooked this way. Its stainless steel design distributes the heat and ensures even cooking. With it, you can simultaneously perform multiple functions. You can, for example, cook rice at the bottom of the bowl while steaming fish in the basket. You can cook a complete meal in one shot. So I figured, um, I can talk a little bit about the programming on it. As you can see, it's got a pretty big face here. It's about the size of my hand. Um, there are some presets. Um, so there's a sauce preset. The This program makes the most difficult sauces possible with the unique combination of optimal cooking temperature and regular settings, a regular stirring. Um, the soup program, which is what we use today, with this soup pro program, making creamy or chunky soups is a breeze. And so basically what it has you do, if you click the button once, it does it as fine and blended. If you click it twice, which is what we did, it, became out, it came out thick and chunky. Uh, there is a simmering um, program. This program combines browning, intermittent stirring, and specific cooking for all creamy and stewed dishes. The mixer attachment is specifically designed for this program and works wonder on the finest dishes. So again, one click gets you browning, two clicks get you um, stewing, and three clicks get you risotto. Then there's the pastry, pastry program. So to knead and stir dough, program one and program two both include an additional rising period of 40 minutes at 90 degrees. So this also, you can put your bread in here to rise. So it does everything. Um, one click you is for bread, two clicks is for leavening your dough, and three clicks is for a cake. And then dessert feature. Your creamy desserts like chocolate cream, lemon cream, panna cotta, etc., are stirred, emulsified, and cooked at the push of a button. The last program is the steaming. You can use this program to prepare both well balanced and delicious recipes. Vegetables, fish, and the delicate desserts are steamed at a constant temperature. Let's see. Manual. So you can do things manually um, by using. Uh, the the different blades and things like that with the um, let's see so you, the food processor if you want to make your appliance a food processor you attach on to the two blades and then so I'm gonna come around real quick and show you this book is very, very informational. So you have all the options here where if you wanna make it a food processor, you attach those plates. If you wanna make it a blender, you attach it to the same plates as a food processor. You have your mixer, your stove top, a bread machine, your ice cream maker. Um, and then here it describes a little bit more about which accessories do which, how long to cook them for, the recommended temperatures. Um, and then really quick before I go, I wanted to show you, so when you purchase one of these machines, they all come with a recipe book, the, the book that I'm holding here, it's the one on the side, and in this recipe book, it breaks everything up by appetizers and sides, main dishes, and then desserts on the bottom, so each area is its own little flip here, and there's 300 different recipes in here, um, so many different things you guys can do and this machine does it all 
So if you guys have any questions, stay tuned for a couple weeks from now. I'm going to be showing you how to make desserts in this machine so you can see all the other things it can do. I will see you guys next week. Have a great day.